Hello to all my fellow numismatic coin collectors out there. This is Numismatic King with another numismatic rant video. So today is a very special day, boys and girls. About eight weeks ago, we put in some order orders in, some silver purchases in. And they uh, recently just arrived. Don't mind this, guys. This is connected to my computer. This is the newest edition. We're going to be all uh, professional. Shouts out to the news unit. Newsunit.com, Blogspot, News Unit. Get all your latest news and updates. So we're going to be starting off the unboxing with the microphone. Here it goes. Oh, it's blacked out because it's a need to know basis only. Request the Freedom of Information Act, and we still get blacked out redacted documents. So this package is from Norway, all the way from Norway. I almost had a heart attack eight weeks later. It's supposed to be registered mail. I'm not sure why the guy didn't do signature required for such a high value item. The mailman just put it on the doorstep and walked away. Okay, he put some stamps on there. And thank God, item has arrived. It's got a very interesting box. I can't really read what the box says. A scanfill? Scanfill? Auctioneers. A scanfill Auctioneers. Look at that one. So this is an eBay pickup. When I ordered this, the guy messaged me saying, I'm so sorry. It's not my fault. I fulfilled the order. I went to the post office. And the post office is telling me that there is an eight-week delay. <laughs> 68 weeks, he said. And I replied back, I'm not happy, of course, but I understand. It's weird times right now. So here it goes. Oh, yeah, it's stuck in there. She doesn't want to come out, boys. She doesn't want to come out. So... Let's get in here. Ah, there it is. She's all snug in there. Oh, wrapped in newspapers. Look at that. Talk about packaging. Wrapped in a newspaper. Oh, shit. You guys got to keep in mind the COVID-19. Spray her down, boys. Spray her down. Get rid of all the COVID. All right, here it goes. Uh, a package within a package with a newspaper with another package. Wow, there it is. There it is. Within more plastic on top of more packaging. I like that though. This guy, this guy's like me. You don't want to mess around. Might as well use extra packaging than the items arrive damaged then put barely any packaging materials and the items arrived all messed up. Ah! This guy really, really packaged this nicely. There it is. Get this plastic off of here. Okay, now we gotta spray this down. Uh-oh. Spray the numismatics. Spray the numismatics. Disinfecting numismatics. There it is. Okay, so we picked up two of these guys. Republic of Panama. Two of these hush puppies. Ooh. This is the Bolivar coin, 1783 to 1830. It's a 1974 issued coin. And I had to have this one. Beautiful proof finish. This one's a sterling silver coin. Comes with a certificate. 
So we picked up two of these ones. There's the other one. One, uh, I believe, comes with a certificate. The other one does not come with a certificate. So. There they are in all their glory. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so here comes my rant and spiel. Oh boy. This right here. This one gave me a headache. Wow, wow, this one gave me a headache. You see it says, open by customs. Unbelievable. 999 pure silver is tax exempt. Why they decided to tax it, I have no idea in the world. Uh, the item arrived six weeks after I placed the order with uh, $29 and change taxes owing. It's 999 pure, this one. It's not even uh, 925. So the 925, they drop up my doorstep with no taxes owing. But the 999, which is tax exempt, they charge the tax. So of course I called them and I said, hey, what are you guys doing? And he's like, oh, I'm so sorry they taxed it. The officer who, who, who processed your package obviously didn't know what he was doing. You're absolutely right, Numismatic King. 999 Fine Silver is tax exempt. And uh, we're going to do a review on it. And we'll ship it back to you. And he goes, by the way, just to inform you, there's a 150 person to 200 person COVID outbreak right now at the shipping facility uh, in Mississauga. Where uh, in Toronto, the, the, all the mail goes to this place in Mississauga, which is uh, at the airport. And they process everything there. So I'm sorry to tell you, there's a 200 person the COVID outbreak or something. The, the CBSA officer was telling me. So it's going to be really delayed. So eight weeks into it, I call them back and I go, hey, what's going on? Did you guys figure it out yet? And he goes, oh, because your package was an e-commerce DHL package, it was handed over to Canada Post. And because it was DHL e-commerce, uh, it went back all the way to, uh, where was it? British Columbia. And I, I, I want this package sent to, back to Toronto. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. So long story short, 10 weeks later, the item finally arrives. So whoever thinks there's no delays or they can just uh, get up and order whatever they want now, if they can find it, okay, get ready to wait. And if there's no other complications with the borders and COVID and all, all, their, all this nonsense happening right now, I was ready to, to basically go insane. And thinking back, I wish I did pay the $30 just because I didn't want to go through all this nonsense. Because if, God forbid, the package got get sent back to the sender and silver doubled up in price now, he's not going to want to send it back to me. So thank God item arrived in my hands. And there it is, uh, the long-awaited, the long-awaited haul. Okay, this one's coming from uh, California. Another eBay purchase. Uh, this guy bubble wrapped it nicely too. That's what I like to see. I'd rather extra packaging than no packaging. And the items arrive intact. Uh, this guy's going to get a good review. Wow, look at that. Okay. That's the five ounce. And get it out of here. Here it is. Five ounce. Comes with the original plastic from the mint. Morgan Bullion Silver Bars. These I ended up paying under spot for. <laughs> 15 ounces of silver for 120. I got a deal and a half. And it was one of those deals that was too good to be true. And I went through hell to fulfill this order. So I'm doing this un uh, unboxing for you guys. Because I want to show you how long it actually took to get these hush puppies in. So 15 ounces right there. I took this one out of the Ziploc. It comes in the original mint plastics. But we got three bars. These are nice, eh? They're nice and heavy. Pretty thick. 
Look at the thickness. These are some fat boys right here, eh? So 15 ounces of silver. I got huge plans for this one. I'm going to be sending it off to Pit Bullion. If all goes well, Pit Bullion. Go check him out on YouTube. That guy's the man. He uh, pours silver, and hopefully if all goes well, he said he's going to find me a Chow Chow mold. Because I have a Chow Chow. And he's going to make a nice silver chain pendant of a Chow Chow dog so I can wear it. So there you go guys, silver under spot in my hands. And last but not least, it's a special unboxing today for you guys. Okay, oh, I pulled the back for you guys. Oh, that's not good, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Okay, here comes the last but not least package all the way from Germany, wow. Here it goes guys. Now, I, I showed you guys the club bars right the club bars i'm uh, i'm working on the 1000 subscriber giveaway i'm giving away one of those uh geiger edimental club bars but the guy who i deal with in germany sent me a private message and said heads up when he says heads up i know i know it's something good heads up this is a pre order okay cuz he knows uh Numismatic King would be interested, of course. He told me there's a pre-order available. If you want, place the order. In two minutes, I place the order right away. And item just arrived, 10 weeks late. Because it was a pre-order. Again, it wasn't his fault. The Dutch Post, surprisingly, is uh, very, very fast. And it wasn't delayed or anything. But uh, no, no customs on this. No bullshit. But... Uh, because it was a pre-order, I had to wait 10 weeks. But boy, was it worth it. There it is. Made in Germany. Security feature in the back. And it will go get my uh, black light, guys. Hold on a second. Got to do this properly. Got to get the black light. Make sure it's all authentic. Make sure everything is good. And go grab the black light. So these ones come with the security feature on them, on every single one. And I got the one gram Geiger Edimental, and even that one had it on there. So let me turn off the lights here. Oh, that's going to kill my back. See what Numismatic King does for you guys? Here we go. Ah, oh, there it is. Got the black light on. Ooh, shiny. Okay. Get a nice view of that. You see how it shines? It's hard to get a nice close up on camera. But yeah, she's uh she's glowing. She's definitely glowing. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is a limited mintage of 300, I believe. It's the Geiger Edimental 300 da Schloss. Gilden Gosa. This is the Gilden Gosa. 300 mintage. It's even more rare than the club bars. And it's in my hands. Finally, after 10 weeks. So if you guys like this video, comment, rate, and subscribe. The 300 Mintage Geiger Edimental 1720 to 2020 Golden Gosa is in my hands. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Numismatic King. Signing out.